Top of the morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday morning, 10.38 a.m. East Coast time on Labor Day weekend. And I'm sitting here in my home office writing up an ad for a bike that a frame-up restoration was done. And I wanted you guys to know um, why these things have become so expensive. Some people say, geez, your bikes are expensive. Well, when we do, we're not when you do a full frame-up restoration, I'm not talking about lipstick on a pig. I'm not talking about painting the frame rails and slapping new plastic plastics on it. It, I'm, and using all the crusty hardware i'm talking about taking a bike right down to the frame setting the frame out and having having it powder coated which is what we did on this kawasaki 250 here this bike 1991 the bike is an absolutely stunning frame off restoration the engine was sent out to a company called x pro has built a lot of my race uh, motors here in columbia connecticut and given a full crank up rebuild the frame was sent out to the powder coaters and the su suspension was sent to factory connection everything is brand new on this bike it's a no expense spared build over $10,000 in parts and labor has been put into it. And I've got 22 pages of receipts in a five page work order. Uh, it was a good core bike. So uh, there was an investment in the, in the core bike to start. You know, the frame is nice and clean. We, ne we don't do restorations on bikes with dented, smashed frames usually. Um, the, those can be repaired, but I like to find good, clean frame bikes. So this one was a good, clean frame bike. So before you read one of these ads of a bike that we have, listed on eBay that's had a frame up and before you watch the video take a minute and ask yourself how much time would it take you just to order 20 pages of parts from seven eight different vendors and how long would it take you to organize when those parts when they come up let alone even find the vendors that have them then organize the stage of parts and don't forget to consider you have to deliver then pick up the engine to and from the builder if, you're, if like we didn't do this this engine wasn't done in house so we usually do them in house but this one was sent out to X Pro and done. And when you bring it there, you have to communicate with them exactly what you want done. So there's a negotiation on what you want done and you know pricing uh, considerations on what you're gonna do. This one was a cases split, cases bead blasted, new crank, uh, new cylinder. Everything's brand new on the bike, clutch everything. So there's a certain negotiation on what you want. You have to tell them what you want. Then then you got to deliver the frame to the powder coater which um, takes time to drive there, drop it off. You got to talk to them. And then they call you when it's done. You got to go pick it up. Then you got to pack up the suspension, ship it off the factory connection and call them. You got to get online and communicate directly what you want with them, et cetera, et cetera, ad infinitum. So uh, did I say that right? It's a ridiculous amount of time and effort to complete a restoration list level. So it's, it's rarely done. Usually people reuse the crusty old hardware. There's um, literally pages of just hardware uh, on, on this build. It would take a home builder, I'd estimate, about a year to complete such a task, if you could even do it. There, there's, then there's the assembly, testing, tuning, and jetting. This particular bike was rejetted minimum of four times before it was right. It's a major project. Most shops bill out at over 120 an hour today, and there's easily 100 hours invested to restore this bike, plus thousands of dollars and in, in, in 20 pages of parts. So um, there's a, not a lot of people out there that rebuild bikes to this level. Uh, Joe Abadi from uh, MX Restoration in West Coast, he does it. Uh, Kenny, Kenny Ives turns out some, some great stuff. And they're, they're, those guys are one-guy one shops. Um, you know, uh, Kenny Ives is semi-retired. Uh, Joe Abadi, uh, he um, is a specialist in the industry and does phenomenal work. And I guarantee you, they put a re obscene amount of time into their restorations. And if they build you at $120 an hour, you, you'd probably have three times into the bike what, what it's worth. And that's quite often the case. When you restore a bike like this, you end up with more into it or you have to sell it for more than the market will bear. So not that many people are doing it anymore. Uh, in our case, we've got a staff of 18, 19. I think we're at 20 people now. We hired a couple new people this week. We've got a ridiculous amount of overhead and uh, electric bills and insurance and taxes. So we have to be careful when we do these builds that we don't end up upside down. And we can't give them away. They're expensive. Here's here's the paperwork from this. But this is just from from X Pro, the end, the company that did the, the engine. Um, here's the, the uh, UFO plastics. Uh, here's um here's some Kawasaki parts. Kawasaki parts house. Um, on and on, just pages, pages of parts. And this isn't everything. This doesn't include a, a, a lot of the stuff that we had in stock at the facility. This doesn't include the tires. This doesn't include the wheel set. Um, none of none of the receipts are in are in here. But all this, all the hardware stuff, 
all the Kawasaki hardware, uh, brake levers. It goes on and on. I, I counted 27 pages of parts. And this isn't even close to all of it. There's a lot more. Things like this uh, Nickel Works engine bolt kit. 80 bucks just for the engine bolts. And another 20 for a hardware kit. So 100 bucks of hardware. Everywhere you look, there's a $100 bill. So before you make a comment or, or, or a comment online that, that uh, the, bike, the bikes are too expensive, think about what you're saying. And think about what went into master crafting this thing into a, a, something that would be equivalent to a works bike back in the day, the amount of effort that's put into it. Some of the unknowns on a bike like this are, are like polishing all the aluminum. We polished the master cylinder like chrome. All the aluminum is polished on it. It goes to the detail shop and it's given a high level of detailing. And when you, when you restore a bike like this, every nut and bolt, anything that is not perfect sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like if you painted your whole car and left you know, a three inch by three inch unpainted area it would stick out like a sore thumb. So everything on the bike has to be perfect. Sometimes that's an impossible goal because sometimes things like the exhaust for this bike, it wasn't available. They're, they're, out, they're on back order. So the original exhaust, which had a bunch of little dings in it, had to be uh, manually handcrafted with, with the uh, tools of the trade that we have to make it um, look presentable on a bike where everything's brand new J just in this picture right here the complete throttle housing is new those are all oem kawasaki parts they had to be ordered separately the, the grips new the throttle tubes new the upper and lower housings new the, the rubber cover on it is new the um handlebars are new the brake levers new the master cylinder was carefully rebuilt with all new components and then hand polished or in machine polished and so wasn't the the um the uh tab right there and it's got a new braided stainless line there's 20 20 pieces you got to order just just for that 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 attack that point um it, it adds up if you want it done right you can see that this pipe's not perfectly straight there's a little ding right there that's the best we could get it but that pipe wasn't currently available so um all the hardware all the bolts on the top of the motor are brand new all the hoses are new everything's new and that's the way it has to be when you do a frame off otherwise it looks like you dropped the ball and let me ask you guys, you can put in the comments, what shops do you guys know of? Where are the shops that you can bring a motorcycle to? There's none around here in New England that I know of besides us. You can drop a bike off. I say, here, here's my nice 1991. It's got 60 hours on it. It needs a full restoration. Let me drop it off. Um, how long can you do it for? And uh, are, Is there anybody out there still doing this? And, and what, what are they charging for a frame off? to disagree i'm talking complete engine rebuild bead blast the cases redo re powder coat polish and replace everything on it what are they charging to do that and will they send out your suspension in the factory connection will they send it to the powder coater will they do all that work for you and if they will who are they put them in the comments i want to know who out there is doing this i only know of a few shops anyways thanks for watching hopefully you guys appreciate the amount of time and effort um it, i mean it's a full-time job for 20 people to pump out the, the bikes we're pumping out here and um, if I sign my name on it, it's, it's got to be right. And a lot of bikes we sell don't get the full frame off restoration. Uh, one, the, 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 they would we'd probably be married to them forever. Um, and two, a lot of them don't, don't uh, there's just not a market for it. So, I mean, you can't put five grand into a, a bike that's only going to sell for four. So we got to pick the right models. You got to make sure. And we've been doing it a long time. We've done over, we've done over 7,000 motorcycles, okay? That's a lot of motorcycles in the last, that's just in the last 10 years, 13 years. Um, who knows how many I've done since I started doing this when I was 15 years old. A whole shitload, that's for sure. Anyways, my breakfast is ready. My brunch is ready. I'm going to take a quick break here. Thanks for uh, listening to me. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. How long does it take you? Have you ever tracked how much time it takes you to completely dismantle every nut and bolt right down to the crankshaft on your motorcycle and polish it and replace or, or paint or every single component and what did it cost you to do it the way that you see the ones we're turning out if you have done it thanks for watching love y'all and god bless america